Uh, hello, sophomores. I'm sorry I cannot be in class today. Um, I actually have to go to my house and pick up my daughter. It's her first day of school and there's no one there to get her off the bus today. So that's where I will be. Um, we're starting class right now and you guys should have just been working to do now and should have that done. I'll be grading this as was probably said by the teacher, not based on speed, but based on the quality of your answers and how good they were. So let's look at our essential question, which is how did people spread and populate the earth? We're going to be looking at that and we should start looking at that by taking out your homework. So go ahead and um, uh, get out your homework assignments. You may do that now. Our teacher can pause the video while you take about 30 seconds to get those out. And I trust you guys are sitting in your regular seating chart. If you're not, go ahead and move to where you're supposed to be right now. The teacher obviously has the seating chart, so if you decide to sit somewhere else, you may go move now and sit in your regular assigned seat. If you had to move, that's okay. If not, you know, take out your um, uh, homework and you may compare and share with the person next to you or in groups of three if there's one person who doesn't have a group. You may compare and share A, B, and C. So why don't you take, this could be somewhere between three and five minutes, and make sure you do a good job. And again, remember, as long as your homework's done and you are contributing, you can listen to the other people and you may take you take the answers, any extra answers that you need. If your homework is done and you take the occasional first sentence or summary or add a note, that is all right. So why don't you take some time to compare and share? And our great teacher who's teaching the class, why don't you pause the video right here and give them about somewhere between three and five minutes to get that done. All right, my hardworking, good-looking students. Uh, now that you got done comparing and sharing, uh, what you're going to do is go in your packet to the bottom part here. We're going to get to our video that we are going to watch. This video is also posted on the website, so if you want to watch it again, you may do that. Uh, this video, Mankind, the Story of Us All, is about fire. Pretty cool. So um, uh, what you need to do is watch, do the best you can to take notes. When the video is done, you will be able to compare and share with the person next to you. So get ready. Uh, the video will be shown. Take good notes, and then you'll compare and share. You will be able to use these notes in your test. So do a good job, all right? Make sure you get some good notes down, especially those who don't always like the reading. You can use more notes from the video. All right, let's do it. All right, uh, now that you've watched the video and now that you've uh, compared and shared about fire, we now have enough information where we can start looking at the take-home test. So now our take-home test will be um, uh, passed out. And why don't we take um, uh, Yasin and Anai. Yeah, I can see you. I see you there. Yeah, why don't you guys come up front, uh, take these tests from the teacher, and make sure everybody gets a copy so you guys can pass those out. Yeah, I see you. I see you. Anyway, so pass those out right now. Uh, make sure everybody gets one copy. Take a quick pause while those are being passed out. Now let's take a look at our test here. All right. So this is going to be a take-home test, which means you get to take it home and write it. It's kind of like in between of a paper and a test, though, because it's going to be a full paragraphs to write. Let's look at our question here. So um, uh, um, test question one, this one is worth 20 points. You want to do a good job on it. Looking back at your rubric here for um, uh, what we need to get a 3.0, uh, 3.5, 4.0, we need 40 points for a 3.0, 50.5 for a 3.5, 56.5 for a 4.0. Your test is worth 40 points. Question one is worth 20. So you want to do a good job. You want to make sure your notes are done. If you haven't gotten the website yet, you may answer that question. By the way, those who posted, they are going to show up. They don't show up right away. When you post on there, I have to approve them. So some people are freaking out about that yesterday, but once you post, it might take an hour or two for that to come up because I have to approve it. So um, anyway, let's go look back at our um, uh, take-home test and question number one. The skill we're working on is cause and effect for this one. So we're looking at what was the cause, what was the effect. Let's look at our prompt. Prompt pretty much means a question, although it could be a statement. So prompt is basically, here's what you are supposed to do on this question. 
So the prompt is telling us what to do, and it says name two tools used in the Paleolithic era that give two to three details. Um, I didn't read that right. Let me try again. Name two tools used in the Paleolithic era and give two to three details explaining how these tools affected life for humans. Why don't you do this right now, this question? Circle what you think are the most important words that are telling you what to do in this prompt. So take a look at it, circle or underline two to three of the most important words that are in this prompt that are telling you what to do. You may do that now. Take about, oh, 30 seconds to get that done, and uh, the teacher who's instructing and doing a great job, you may pause this video. All right, so if I'm, like, I highlighted mine here, but if I'm uh, circling, underlining the most important words, two tools, I have to have two tools that I'm going to pick here. Got to be from the Paleolithic era. Looking for um, uh, two to three details there. Let me get that two to three. Uh, good enough. Two to three details and explaining how these tools, big term here, affected life. You got to see how these things affected life. So, what do I want in front of me? I obviously want my take home test in front of me, but then also at the same time, I want to have my notes in front of me too for my packet, especially the parts where we got to A, B, and C and everything on here. Ooh, we have different examples of tools there. I want to have this in front of me, and maybe I even want to have my reading or my phone in front of me to AP Worldopedia 1.1. This will give me the access I need to the information, the evidence that I'm now going to use in my take-home test. So let's look at that take-home test right now, and let's start this off with probably the one that's going to be the easiest and have the most information. Now, of course, that tool probably be fire. So right here, okay, anyway, right here, what you may do is under tool, or your evidence, you may write down, let me bigulate that, all right, and we have the word fire. Now what I want to do is I want to look through my notes and I want to see how did this tool change life. There's a lot of evidence you got from that video you were just watching. So what you may do now is go through that video, go through your notes. If I'm looking at my AP Worldopedia notes, oh, yeah, A is kind of a big deal with fire right there. So I could go to my, where are my notes here again? Oh yeah, so I can go here to part A where it's talking about fire quite a bit. I could take notes from there. And you're looking for evidence for how it affected life. You can use some of your own inferences here, but you do need facts. So I'll say this, have at least two facts from the reading for your details. Start with two facts, and then if you want to connect to an inference, you may do that. But make sure you have at least two facts in the reading. So why don't you right now take some time, take about a minute or two, go back to your video and put evidence of how fire changed life. And why don't you do that right now? All right, now that you got the um, uh, examples written down there, what you're going to do again is you are going to compare and share with the person or people next to you, and let's get your ideas down. So why don't you take about another minute, minute and a half, two minutes, and get this done. Remember, there's going to be a homework assignment tonight, so let's, let's get this done. And you may compare and share fire. Go for it. All right, now that our compare and share step is done, um, our teacher, um, who is instructing the room and doing a great job, um, we'll now call on a few people, um, and let's hear some of the answers you guys have. And as they're said, if they're good, you may copy these down. Make sure you have two or three details in there. Uh, go ahead and pause the video and go for it. All right, so we got tons of good evidence there. You can always go back to the video. You can go back to part A on our notes. But make sure you have two or three details there, which explain how that fire was a tool that was used by people in the Paleolithic era and how it affected their life. Um, all right, so now we need another tool on here. And as I was looking at this, I realized this next one might be kind of hard. So um, any ideas of what another tool example could be? We can pause it and teach you may call on some people. All right, this is where the video thing might get a little awkward because I don't know what you guys just said right now, what you volunteered. But I'm willing to bet someone probably said stone tools or something like that. Um, so stone tools could definitely be used on here. We had that for our optic, which came from this picture here. 
It's also in Part B of AP Wikipedia. And if I look at this paragraph here, it does give me some information, especially right here, about how tools were used and how they would have affected life. So let me look at this real quick. I'm going to read this. It says, um, uh, tools made this possible. Bones, rocks with sharp edges, and small pieces of copper were used to scrape hides, hunt, fish, and sew. As these mobile bands came in contact with each other, they borrowed ideas and tools. So let me take that to our graphic organizer. And I think I'm going to put down like bone and stone tools. And how did it affect their life? Try to put down at least one, two, three details if you can, first from the reading on how it affect their life. Take about 30 seconds or a minute to do that right now, especially from Part B in your notes. Go for it. So on your notes, you may have put down, like, you know, how they basically use the scrape hides, fish, so if you don't have that, you can put that down right now. And I can also extend this a little bit. Like, I might put, well, this allowed them to develop better tools, and I know by looking at a map like this one over here, right, that one right there, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, that one. Yep. I know by looking at that map, well, geez, how does this affect their life? They're able to sow, they're able to hunt, they're able to fish, they're able to trade with other people. Well, looking at that map, huh, they're able to travel like all over the world. So for both fire or stone tools, I could put down that one effect of having these tools means they get to live in cold climates. Now, the reading doesn't say that. But when I look at the map, I can kind of infer it. It's like, okay, they go everywhere. We did this optic earlier. They have these tools where they can sew. They can kind of make clothes. They can have fire to keep warm. So one effect I could put down for either fire or stone tools, or both actually, is that having tools and fire allows them to live in colder climates. This is kind of like putting it all together. It doesn't tell me that in reading. i got to kind of read between the lines. And I can see again by looking at the map, well, this is what causes Homo sapiens to live all over the world and people the earth. So what do I do with that evidence? Well, my evidence is in here. I have some specific details that is word from word based, well, not word from word, I paraphrase it, obviously, that I take paraphrasing from the notes and I put them here. And again, if I'm taking it from my notes and I've already paraphrased, I'm good. I just put it down here. Paraphrase notes on how fire affected their life how bones and tools affected their life, direct evidence in the reading. And then I can mix it with something like, that allowed them to live all over the earth in different continents. And I can get specific. I can say they could live the cold weather places like Europe or North America. And I can add that in here to my explanation. So this is how I'm going to finish this up, and I'm going to get to your homework here real quick. <laughs> yeah, homework. So what will I need to do? I need evidence here, two or three details, some of it based in the book. Some of it can be an extension, like how humans were able to live all over the earth. I can put that for fire. I can put that for bone and stone tools. And now I need a topic sentence. Topic sentences seem difficult, but they're not really that hard. I go back and I look to my prompt. My prompt says, name tool tools, tools used in the Paleolithic era and give two to three details explaining how these tools affected life for humans. I'm going to use that and basically make it into a sentence. So I'm going to rephrase this prompt into a sentence using the key words, focusing on those. So I go down here, and I'm probably going to start off like in the time period, like in the Paleolithic era. I could use that. Now what else could I say? In the Paleolithic era, what am I talking about? Oh yeah, tools. So in the Paleolithic era, tools, what? Hmm, tools did what? Oh yeah, over here. Tools affected life for humans. So I could have a topic sentence as simple as, in the Paleolithic era, tools affected life for humans. So here's what I want you guys to do. Write your topic sentence. Take about a minute to do that. And the teacher may pause the video. And then immediately after that, you may compare and case with the partner. Go for it. All right, now that you've compared and case with the partner, here is your homework. You will write your paragraph. Start off with your topic sentence. Put it right here. 
and then you will go into your explanation, writing about your first tool with two or three details.